Hello and welcome to the next session of NIME. In the first session, we had looked at why NIME. Uh, and in this session, we're going to look at how NIME is basically how do we use the platform. Now, when you open up NIME, this is the screen that you would be staring at once you launch NIME. Now, the window up there on the top or the panel up here on the left top corner is called the NIME Explorer. In this particular window or NIME Explorer, you will have all the projects that you create get listed here sequence-wise as follows. So if I just open up local, so you'll see within each directory, you will have these nine pre-built projects which are there, which is part of the nine package in the example workflows. It's a good way to learn the nine tool as well by looking through all the example workflows to see how these nodes have been configured and how the solutions have been built. The second uh, panel that you see here is called the workflow coach. Now, the first thing that you need to do when you start building out a solution is to read in the file. So, which is why you see that it's listing out the file, saying this is the first step that you need to do. Now, the workflow coach is right now not that very important. Now, I'm just going to create more space for me to work on. So, I'll minimize the workflows coach. The next thing that I have here is the node repository. Now, the node repository is one of the most important uh, places here. The nodes are nothing but pre-written programs in Nine. Now, Nine is an excellent tool in the sense that what you think you write, and this is the search toolbar. So, for example, the first thing I want to do is I want to read in some files. So, I, if I just type in read. It will give a list of all the nodes which are there, which was helpful for reading in files. And you will see different file formats, XLS, file reader format, ARFF reader, CSF reader, all different kinds of, you know, exhaustive list of different file formats that need to be read in are captured here. The third thing that you find here is called the outline. Now, the outline is, again, not very useful uh, for a beginner. Uh, because when you start creating very complicated programs and have a large number of nodes, you want to get one snapshot view of it. That is where the outline is useful. This is the console. The console is nothing but it lists all the programs which are being run, uh, and you get a log history of all the nodes that are being run. This one, though, is important. It's called the node description. It's more or less like a help documentation for nine so if i click on excel reader for example this gives the documentation around the excel reader node it says this node reads the spreadsheet and provides it at its output port it gives all the options in terms of settings which are there and also tells you what are the outputs which are there so it's an excellent uh, resource to have but right now i need more space for me to work on so what i'll do is i quickly go and minimize this now, if you want to retrieve each of the panels that I've minimized, or the screens that I've minimized, you can just go here on the panel here and here on the panel here. And just by typing, you know, clicking on restore, you get all of these panels back. So I'll minimize it again so that I have more space. Now, let's go and create our first project online. So I go to file, just underneath file here, there is an option for new nine workflow. Now you also see a new nine workflow group. New nine workflow group is nothing but it, it will create a directory of projects. So for example, I can create a directory called Yoda Learning. And inside Yoda Learning, we will create a new nine workflow and we will call it the sales exercise click on finish the moment i do that what will happen is inside yoda learning i will have created a new project or in which i will create my workflows which is called sales exercise and this grid like uh, panel will come up in front of you
Now, when you're reading in files, there's a quick and very easy way of reading in files. So let's say these are the files that I have unzipped from my free year sales data uh, file that have been provided to you. And let's say I want to read in buzz segment file, which is a Microsoft Excel worksheet. So what I can do, one of the lazy options is to just drag it into my nine workspace and wait for magic to happen. So it automatically selects an Excel reader. The other option would have been to just type read, drag in or click on an Excel reader. I can do control Z and uh, get rid of uh, the Excel reader that I uh, produced from my panel here in node repository, or I can just drag it in into the workspace like this. Now, in this, notice the difference between these two nodes. In this, I get a warning saying no file location specified, and this file location has already been specified because I've dragged in and dropped that particular file into this workspace. So how do I configure a node? It's easy to configure a node. We right click on the node, go to the first item on top of the form, go to browse, and go to the place where you have saved the file in your laptop and it will vary for you. I have saved it here in a file called Yoda Learning. So let me pick up a segment. Now the second thing that I need to do in terms of settings is select the sheet to read. So the tab in the Excel which I want to read, I select that. Then third thing is column names. Table contains column names in row one. Right. If you select that, you will see that it asks you to do a refresh. Preview table is out of sync with current settings. Please refresh. So if I press on refresh, it will automatically do the settings. I press on OK, and all I need to do is execute. Similarly, here, if I just execute the file, it will get executed. When we go to the output table here, you'll find that the first row has been taken up by the column headers, which is not what we want. So what we need to do here is go back to configure, go and select the right sheet, which it automatically did, but click on column names and tell Nime that the row numbers start with one and the table contains column names in row number one. That is what we are saying. Uh, the moment we do that, you'll find that this particular preview uh, is out of sync and it asks you to refresh. And the moment you refresh, you have the right kind of settings. So now this node is ready to be executed. So we've just read in the same file in two different ways into the Nine workflow. Uh, so in the next session, we'll look at how to read some of the other files. Uh, but this is just a quick introduction into various ways in which you can read in files into